The performance we did at the Media Lab was really amazing in so many ways. First of all, it was a very different kind of a performance where I was depending on the technology that we've been designing to be an active participant in the whole thing. And some of that AI technology is fairly unpredictable because, well, for two reasons. One is we're still developing it, and the other thing it's, uh, is because it's got its own kind of brain. There's a huge amount of, of chance that's like involved when you use those models, where you never know what's gonna like come out of it. And I think sitting in the performance, I, I loved it for most of it, but m many times I felt as stressed as I would feel when I was gonna take a solo. And when the AI started taking a few notes and the, the structure started like being animated, and people were like, oh wow, okay. This was when I was like kind of a relief. It's like, okay, it's playing and it's playing pretty well, I think. During rehearsal, I wasn't really taking in what was going on because <laughs> we were so stressed about getting everything working. And then during the performance, everything we worked on, we just had to sit there and let it do its thing. Then I kind of looked at the audience and I saw people really entranced by it and mm. filming the whole thing. And um, there's especially a moment where uh, Jordan and Camila stepped off stage and the AI was just playing nice chords and the whole sculpture was just flowing back and forth. And that was a really like silent, special moment in a way where like everyone just kind of, I guess, got into the, the trance of the sculpture and the, and the music. There's going to be a, a mutual conversation between the two, and we definitely realize that Jordan adapts the way he plays when he plays with the model. He has a number of years of experience that the model needs to like catch up to a certain level before there's you know before this dual mutual relationship can happen. But I think we're we're getting there. I think especially at some part of the concert, you could really see like you know the the boundary between what was AI generated and what was Jordan was like getting really thin and that's when the audience I think was like whoa okay this is this is impressive so I think we want to make that boundary even thinner to the point where then we can get really creative outputs and the AI can inspire more creative ideas into Jordan's brain and the concert can like keep on becoming more and more interesting it's really exciting to use technology in a way where it can add um, inspiration and uh, entertainment value and creativity to somebody's work. I think a possible red line would be when you're using the technology almost like in place of, of, your, of a human's kind of like natural energy. If it can enhance and add to and make something greater then, then I think it's amazing.